Hi friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and I am a photographer living in Portland, Oregon. And in today's video, I am going to be taking you all through the entire editing process of a big photo project that I did recently. Um, this, <laughs> this was intended to be a November vlog, but then at the end of November, I had to like really crack down on editing this project and send it off to the client. So um, it was intended to be a November vlog, but here we are in January already. Um, uh, yeah, the holidays got kind of crazy at work with, you know, Christmas orders and stuff. So so I've been volunteering slash working slash volunteering for Rewild Portland for a few years now. And Rewild Portland recently came across the opportunity to acquire a large greenhouse in the St. John's area of Portland. And so the video and photo project was basically to create a sort of mini documentary video promoting the greenhouse and encouraging people to donate to the project. So this video takes you a, a tiny bit behind the scenes of actually photographing and documenting that. And then most of it is the editing process. I went out and photographed and videotaped. Um, I documented <laughs> uh, Rewild Portland. I love all of the people at Rewild Portland. I love getting to work with them. And we are fundraising for a new greenhouse. So it's very exciting. So basically the project for the next two weeks is putting the fundraiser video together. I already went out and documented all of the footage that we needed and the interviews and things like that. Now it is just a matter of putting everything together. So I'm hoping to take you all through a bit of the editing process and my sort of thinking in editing videos together. I'm totally self-taught in terms of video editing and things of that nature. Um, my husband was a film student, so I know a lot about film and that world in general. So I'm not totally without, you know, some actual knowledge, but it's mostly self-taught. So hopefully, it will be informative maybe and probably fun and definitely random. I thought I'd go through how I cull images. I hate that word. Does anybody else hate that word? I hate saying that word, but that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be narrowing down the images to select which ones will be the final product. Um, I was told to never use the the camera buttons on the side here to like mark photos or delete photos basically don't mess with the SD card at all when you're in the camera um, I was told not to mess with that ever when I was like in high school and stuff because you could potentially corrupt the card now I ignored that rule and have done that for gosh 10 years now with all of my cameras and photos and I have never had a card corrupt. So I basically just go through, I mean, this is the crappy first photo of the day, but I basically just go through on my camera and rate, I just rate one star, whichever photos I want to keep around. And then when I bring it up into Photoshop, I can automatically filter through just the rated images and I've already gotten rid of all of the overexposed or out of focus photos and I don't even have to like look through those at all. So I go through this really quickly. I mean, I will basically, whatever I select in this step is what will be a final image. I mean, maybe with things like family photos or where I'm unsure of posing, I'll rate both of them and then narrow it down later on. But for the most part, this is how I cull through. Ugh, God, it's such a bad word. I don't understand why I hate it. But, but this is how I will narrow down pretty much all of my images. Um, it's so fast to just go through each one back and forth. You can you know, zoom in really easily, and it's, it's the fastest way to do it. I don't know what to tell you. Um, all of these culling programs that photographers use, I'm like, what are you doing? That... that just do it in here. It's so much easier. You save it right to the file itself. Boom. You're ready to go. I will say, I'm not looking through any of the video footage right now. I'm just focusing on 
the photos. So I'm going to skip over any videos that I see because pretty much I use all of the footage that I record. Um, I don't ever shoot an out of focus video because, you know, you can see it on the screen. So um, this only pertains to the actual still images. It is November 16th. I apologize in advance for how loud my laptop is. He is on his last breath. Um, today we are working on editing together the video. I sent off the photos to the client yesterday um, and today I am working on putting together the video. Since this video is narrative in nature, we did interviews with a couple people and are going to put their interviews as the voiceover for the entire video. Since it's like that, I'm just going through and working on the entire audio for the video first. The message that everybody is saying in the interviews will really dictate the actual video footage that I overlay on top of the words that they use. So, I'm focusing on the audio, cutting down their interviews. The goal is to have the video be between three to five minutes. I'm guessing it will probably be at closer to the five minute mark because I love keeping things long. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of going through and getting some good little sort of sound bites and cutting out any excess things that I know I won't use in their audio and then cutting them together in such a way that it, it flows narratively um, in a cohesive sort of manner. So that's the goal for today. It's about, um, I started working on this yesterday actually. Um, each interview was about 30 minutes long. So it's an hour of footage that I'm cutting down, which is quite a bit. Um, so it's gonna take me a while, but it's very fun to listen through with the interview again. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing right now. So I have, you know, this is this is Peter's interview right here, this is Ivy's interview right here, and I've broken them up into the little sections. Now I am puzzle piecing them together in the actual timeline. I am not going to narrow anything down yet, I'm just putting all of the clips together so they make sense 
narratively in the timeline, and then I will go through and further edit them down to five minutes. As the months have rolled by, it's felt more and more Good morning, happy Monday. So, to recap you very quickly over the weekend, I went back to the greenhouse mostly to do a different project, but I just got a few extra video clips that I'm only mentioning because I'm actually using them in the final film. So I did go back and get a few pickup shots. I worked through the video a lot over the weekend. I'm like, I'd say 75 percent done at this point. I have a little bit of editing left and then color grading and then like fine tuning everything and then Matt is actually, Matt my husband, is actually going to be doing the audio for me which is going to be very helpful because I'm not as knowledgeable in audio as he is. So he's just balancing the audio for me and then I need to figure out music for it. Ugh, which is, music is literally I think music is the hardest part. I'm so picky about songs and yeah. A lot of the music that I really like and want to use is music that is hard to get licensing for, um, especially on short notice. So I finally got the audio down. It's now at about six minutes and a few seconds, give or take. So. It is still longer than what it actually needs to be, so I'm gonna send it off to Peter and he will probably have me some notes for things to cut out anyways. As of right now, I'm just editing all of the video footage together based on that time timeline. Uh, I'm about 75% of the way through the timeline. No, probably more like 80, maybe. I don't know if these are made up numbers. There's a few different sort of sections in the audio that I thought the video footage would be better suited on top of. So there's one moment where they talk about the organization, how the greenhouse opens a door for them. And so I have a video clip of, you know, Peter opening the door. You know, it's, it's sort of cheesy, things like that. And then of course there are, there are sequences of clips that go really nicely together. Um, for example, there's a really nice I really like the intro to this. Um, I think it's particularly strong with, you know, the directional movement of Peter moving through the flowers and you see the St. John's Bridge while they're talking about it. And then, you know, it, it, it brings them to, you know, some of the, the sort of dreamier places of Green Acres, I would say. And then it, you know, transitions into them, you know, seeing the greenhouse and actually walking into it. And, you know, here's the intro to the main video. Right now there's also a really good one of a little, like a little pill bug. <laughs> um, a sequence of them, you know, going from like the really large scale sort of view of, you know, humans working with the plants, narrowing down further and further um, as we end the timeline with, you know, this cute little macro shot of the pill bug. It'll be uh, essentially a, a nexus for rewilding, a physical one, and we haven't really had that. We've mostly been nomadic with our programming and things like that throughout the years. The idea of a nursery as a central place for rewilding, I think, is going to be really cool and, and benefit everybody and really draw our focus. So yeah, it's been a lot of sticking things together like that. Um, a lot of going back and forth. I've probably redone some sections a couple of different times just, you know, experimenting and playing around with things. Um, it's really good to save copies of your work, so I save like a version one and then like an alt version of the project that I'm working with too so that if I go too far with editing one thing and then I want to actually go backwards, I still have that to fall back on. Um, so pro tip for you. Um, but yeah, so today, Monday, yes, I've been chatting non-stop right now. I hope you all don't mind. Um, Monday, I'm hoping to finish 
the editing of it and then getting that sent off to Peter. Then I will, I'll immediately start working on color grading and, alright, let's do it. <laughs> So then in the last final days, I just finished up the editing and the color grading too, and then adding in title cards and just stabilizing some of the footage to make sure everything looked good. So then we sent it off to the client and you know, they came back very happy and now the, <laughs> the campaign is underway to donate to this greenhouse. So here's just a little brief snippet of the final product. I look out to the, the spit here and I see a lot of Japanese knotweed and blackberry and a lot of the plants that come in, you know, after great disturbance. It's right next door to Cathedral Park and the St. John's Bridge. It's a place where people wander and come over. It's a place where people access the water. With the so that was the entire photographing and editing and then of course the final product process of creating this entire documentary campaign. Um, I do apologize for it being a little bit chaotic, but hopefully, again, like I said, hopefully it was a little bit entertaining and hopefully informative, at least a little bit for you. If you all have any questions at all whatsoever, um, comments, questions, concerns, critiques, you know, literally anything, um, or if you just want to chat, um, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Also feel free to leave a comment if you have any video suggestions for things you would like me to do or teach about. Um, I have a few ideas for 2021, so I think it's going to be a pretty good year regardless of if anybody comments or not. I think that's about it, so I hope you all have a really, really wonderful day. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!